Hello fellow Unreal devs, this is uh, Jonas Marklund, technical artist at KJ Interactive. I'm here to show you how to move the mesh we created in uh, the first part of this tutorial series, uh, which you can find in the annotation here on the screen, uh, into Unreal. So first of all, I've just started an empty project here uh, with uh, the new 4.8 release candidate 3. Uh, I'll take the two uh, textures we created before the .exr which drives the vertice movement and the normals to make sure it doesn't look off. I'll just drag these into my folder here. Uh, when I do so, I'll get these. If you do get a um, error message that says these are not powered by two, just press the yes button and it will dismiss the prompt and you'll get these two into the engine. Uh, we'll start off with the uh, the EXR. With the EXR file, you'll want to make sure that the MIPS maps are off and that the texture group is set to UI. This is so that it doesn't change uh, when the distance is changed with the camera. Um, you also have to make sure that the sRGB is off for the texture and that the compression setting is HDR, RGB, no sRGB, this one. Uh, when that's done, just save that. Uh, then we'll open uh, this one, the normals. Once again, no MIP maps. Make sure the texture group is set to UI and uh, that sRGB is turned off. Compression settings. Uh, this is a bit special. You'll want to find the vector displacement map. And we'll just press Ctrl S to save all of this. Now we're done with the texture importing, and so it's time to import our FBX. Again, I'll just drag and drop this into my folder, and I'll get the import prompt. Here you'll want to make sure that auto generate collision is set to off, and under material, you'll make sure that import textures and materials is also off. Under the uh, advanced mesh settings, make sure that remove degenerates is off and make sure that you do not generate any new UVs. Also, make sure that combine meshes is on. Uh, now I'll just press import and here it is inside of the editor. Since I also have a diffuse or albedo map for this pig, I'm going to import that as well just so we can make this, like I said, quite a lot more beautiful than regular demos are. Now I'll open up my FBX file. We're going to change a few settings in here as well. We'll uh, go into build settings and make sure that use full precision UVs, which can be found here, is selected. And that the distance field is set to zero. Uh, apply changes and control S to make sure everything is saved. And uh, now we will create the real magic. Go to materials and create a new material. I'll name this M underline echo pig underline vertex. And I'll open this. Uh, here we are. Let's drag and drop these two into the material editor and we'll have these texture samplers like this. And we don't actually want these as samplers. We want them as just texture objects. So select both of them and select convert to texture objects. Next we'll want to select our main material and open up the advanced properties of the material. Here we'll want to add four uh, customized UV inputs like this and whoop, there they are. And uh, here we'll also want to turn off tangent space normals there. I'll just save that. For the base color I will take my echo pig texture, drag and drop that into here, which we do want to be a sample, and I'll put that into base color. I'll also create a few constants. I can do that by holding down one and left clicking or dragging and dropping one of these like that. And I'll put that here. And I want one roughness. And now I'll just move these two out of the way and I'll right click and I'll search for max 
for 3ds Max scripts and here we'll find the magic box the vertex animation tools underline morph targets and I'll put that here now here is the morph normal and then morph texture so I'll just plug this into the morph texture the exr file and the BMP or underline normals into the morph normal next I'll want to set my world position offset into my world position offset as well as my world vertice normal into my normal finally custom uv2 here and custom uv3 here finally as you'll know if you watched the first video I have a 66 frame animation which I made in 3 Studio Max so I will set this to 66 and then I will put that into my number of morph targets and uh, here you have it the entire thing these are just for prettiness and this is the actual magic I'll just press apply and turn shut this down and save everything all right then time for the moment of truth I'll just drag and drop my little pig out here oh well not so little pig seems I got my scales mixed up oh doesn't matter let's check it out oh yeah there we have it the old triple A animation from before let's change this up we'll take this and we'll put it into emissive as well and save yeah there we are look at that fabulous pig I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions please uh, leave them in the comments and if you liked it do like and do subscribe so that I know that you are enjoying these things. Thank you and uh, happy devving everyone!